A few things that you want to consider when setting up a portrait that you're painting from life um, in sight size is you want to be able to have space to step back um, and the very minimum that you would need in order to like really get like enough perspective um, on the painting and the model uh, and see it sort of like in a more impressionistic way and see the whole picture is uh, to have at least three times the length of the piece that you're working on. So I'm doing a 50 by 60 centimeters portrait and so this is probably more than 180 centimeters from the distance to me to the canvas which is side by side with the model. Another thing is when you're setting it up, uh, light will be reflecting off of like every surface. So if you have like a sort of shiny floor or a really light floor, it'd be good to put down a carpet. Um, and then as far as the wall, this was uh, a lot of light was reflecting off of the wall onto the model's face. And so there, the shadows weren't as like deep and dark and they're getting washed out. So I hung up this uh, black cloth. And then another thing is when you're painting um, from natural light, uh, it's best to have like north facing uh, windows. You're going to want to find a sort of platform to put your model on so that when you're painting the model you're not sort of uh, having this just like distorted perspective of looking down um, at the model or you know it's not always that great looking up if the model is super tall and you're really short. I guess there's not really much you can do about that. <laughs> dig a hole <laughs> um, and I don't really have that problem for me it's usually I'm looking down at models uh, and so I'll have to get really creative and like find sort of like bricks or like pieces of wood or pallets um, and just try and stack the um, platform up so that the model is a bit higher you know you at least want it at eye level and there's like a little bit more of a presence, you know, the, the model is sort of uh, maybe slightly higher than your eye level, like looking down. And then it's also good to have eye levels for when you're taking measurements rather than having to sort of like have a, your arms up and looking up and or rather down. You can just sort of like have it straight out and it'd be more consistent.